you don't have to do surgery, but I think a lot of trans people feel like societal pressure to do it. And like, you know, I wanna get like certain procedures done. And sometimes I have to ask myself, you know, is this something I really want for me? Is it because, you know, deep down, I think, you know, people will accept me more if I do it. I can get every surgery I can pop, my body can possibly handle. No matter what I do, people are still gonna maybe misgender me or not understand me or fetishize me or, they're still gonna, it's not gonna be perfect. Just the grass isn't always like green on the other side. It's not like I'm gonna get certain things done and then all of a sudden, poof, my life's perfect and people accept me more and it's just kind of like a personal choice. If I'm in a room with um, like heterosexual cisgender women, I sometimes I feel like I fit in and sometimes I don't because like I can understand and relate on, you know, certain parts of womanhood like with them and vice versa, but like they can't relate on being trans. So like, you know, there's certain, you know, differences we have that we can't like relate on, but yeah, there's definitely like that kind of feeling sometimes of feeling like left out of certain like conversations or certain things because you don't know if, you know, they kind of take your womanhood as seriously. Not getting to like grow up as a little girl. I mean, I felt like one and was always really effeminate, but it was kind of like that, like tug and pull of like, okay, I'm gonna be myself, but people tell me not to be like that. So like there's certain like little things that I feel like I, missed out on like you know uh, the adolescence of like a young girl now that i'm like a young adult like i'm 23 you're kind of like thrown in and thrust into like womanhood so i didn't like i don't have like a young awkward girl phase or like going to the school dance stuff like that you know i'm kind of just thrown to being you know a grown woman when i didn't get to like kind of grow up as like a little girl sometimes it feels like playing catch up or something. I always felt feminine and like had like a feminine energy. So I think now that I've begun my transition and live out and proud, you know, things come naturally to me. So it's not like I have to necessarily relearn how to live and be and act, but there are certain like, I think like little like life things I feel like I, you know, didn't get to experience, but. But oh well, <laughs> I guess that's kind of part of it. The thing that helps the most with kind of like the heaviness is that I'm just not the only one, you know, it's in, people have been doing this for a long time and you know, it's it's scary because you feel like you're going through it alone and you, there are parts of it where you do go through it alone, but you know, there's someone that can relate and there's someone that's been through that same thing before. We're just like anybody else, anyone else and we're human and um, we go through a lot of the same things everyone else goes through. And it's not really like a choice, you know, kind of like the, the experiences or the hardships we have. It's, you know, we didn't like choose to take a more difficult path in life. It just comes naturally to us and to be ourselves. And then I guess you're kind of like, things are kind of thrown at you. I just want people to know like it's fine to befriend trans people and date trans people and learn from trans people because we're people and that's how people learn. We just learn from each other and um, we're all one and the same.